You ask a bunch of women and they'll say they care and then you ask more specific questions like, what size should it be? No clue. Oh, today we're going to go deep. <laughs> we're going to talk about something that you've probably seen a bunch of things back in the day. We're talking about penis enlargement. Yeah, that. Today I'm going to talk about penis enlargement myths and the things you can actually do to help yourself get bigger. Hey, this is Brian, aka Uncle B, and for the last 21 years I've been the men's performance coach with African Fly, the liquid aphrodisiac. And of course, as a coach, you get this question all the time, how can I get larger? Well, we're going to talk about that, specifically penis enlargement myths and lies, the condition for you to grow using a sexual performance scale, uh, just a couple of things that you need to know. We're going to talk about the growth point principle and break that down. And we're going to talk about the fourth stage enlargement technique. And as a bonus tip, I got something for you uh, when you actually do get larger. So of course, if you like what you hear, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, that like button, that notification bell so we can get some more of this information to you. And what I'm going to do is break this down till it cannot be broken anymore. All right, let's talk about that penis enlargement. And first, let's go ahead and talk about the myths. We've seen the myths. We've seen those different commercials. It's like grow four inches in four days or grow three inches in three days or two inches in two days, whatever it is. Uh, no, you're not going to take a pill and grow something on your body. Your body doesn't work that way. Uh, if it does, I would be six foot five because I take the six foot five pill. But oh well. So one thing to understand though is that for most men, they're roughly 20 to 30% smaller than they could be. And that's because of the way we just sit around, we don't move enough, we don't get enough sunshine, all those things. Now for those guys who are trying to, how can I do this? How quickly can I do this? There is no maximum set time. Your body changes over time. And that just means it's not permanent. There is no permanent solution for getting your Johnson that 20 to 30% larger. Now here's something you really have to understand. You need to be an eight to 10 on the sexual performance scale. The sexual performance scale is a scale of one to 10 where 10 means everything works. One means you need to go to the hospital. Five is where most guys are if you're having erectile issues. But in order to be able to grow larger, you need to be in the eight, nine, 10. We're talking about you already have morning erections, spontaneous erections or erections on demand. Now, in order to practice penis enhancement, this is a overtime thing. We're talking about changing the way you eat. You have to eat clean. You need to do high intensity interval training. You need to get your exercise in. And everything else that we talk about, sunlight, sleep, water, uh, meditation, all of this comes into play because your body needs to be primed to get larger. All of this is because we're trying to direct our blood flow and testosterone to get more blood into the Johnson in order for it to get larger. Now here's a couple of things you need to know. One is sort of controversial, I've said this before, and that is women don't care. Now, you ask a bunch of women and they'll say they care and then you ask more specific questions like, what size should it be? No clue. So they care, but really it's about what you do. And here's the most important thing. Um, they have different sizes too. There are some women you'll, did I just fall into a pool? And there's some other women is like, I can't get in there. I gotta crack the code. Yeah, they have different sizes too. And also for those guys who are like, I just need to be a good 12 to 15 inches to please her. Um, nah, there are a lot of women who actually complain about guys being too large. Got that issue too. But the way that I look at this, this is actually something fun to do. This is a way to encourage yourself to get healthier. Because of course, going through the practice of penis enlargement, you can get to a point where you're bigger and eh, that has some bonuses. You're gonna look and feel bigger. Uh, you can hang larger, deliver more sensation, not only to yourself, but also to her. Of course, with all the exercise and everything else you're doing, you're gonna have increased stamina and you'll be able to get back up faster. So let's talk about some techniques that you need to understand. First of all, please understand that there are four stages to an erection. Firmness is the first stage. That's where you get to start just getting a little movement. Swelling is we have an erection, but it's not hard enough for penetration. Hardness is that full erection. That is what you're having most times during sex. Heat, that's the fourth stage and that's right before ejaculation and that's when you're at your largest. Part of this principle is just staying in the heat stage as long as possible without ejaculating. So that's where we bring it into the growth point principle. You wanna masturbate until you're about to ejaculate, get into that fourth stage, but don't ejaculate. 
Do this repeatedly so you can stay at that size for a good 10 to 20 seconds. Now it's gonna feel like you're doing a Kegel, you're trying to hold it there, but yeah, that's part of the process. And of course, make sure to breathe. <laughs> you can get too carried away, knock yourself out. That wouldn't be cute. It'd be funny, but it wouldn't be cute. Basically what you're trying to do is practice your timing so that you can get it right. And if you want to use African fly as part of the process to help you with the blood flow and the more testosterone so you can have a stronger erection while you're going through this process, go for it. So guys, just understand you can actually do it. It's not going to be something that's really quick and something that you is going to last for the rest of your life. This is a process. You want to get yourself into a healthy lifestyle so that your erections get to their largest size possible. That means you're going to have a whole bunch of blood flow going down to your penis, nourishing the cells down there, giving that good HGH to testosterone, all the hormones you need for healing so your, your penis can expand and expand and expand and get to the best size for you. One of the things I do want to say is, uh, you know, when you're going through the practice stage, you do not, do not use porn. Just use your imagination much better for you anyway. So what is that bonus? What was I talking about before? What is it that happens when you get to a larger size? Make sure you get larger condoms. Yeah, I went through this process and next thing I know is like, why can't I get this on? Yeah, that's what happens. Yeah, use that. Question of the day, do you even think that you can get larger? And are you willing to try some techniques to do that? Also, let me know if you've ever tried those penis pills before and how did it work out for you? Leave your comments below. And as always, if you like what you heard, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, that notification bell, and this is Uncle B saying, get your game up, go hard. Peace out.